The 2016 BLK Silver Boot has hit the semi-final stages. And we're at Lions Stadium for two NPL versus BPL clashes. First up, we have Brisbane Strikers up against Holland Park Hawks. Then we have Gold Coast City up against the home side, Lions FC. Let's get straight to the action. Calling the game, it's Rafe Griffin. Well, thanks very much, Darren. Good to see you for the first time in 2016. And our first semi-final is the Brisbane Strikers. Three wins from three games in their pool stage up against Holland Park Hawks with two wins and a penalty shootout win to get to this stage of the competition as Knight plays it on there for Clulo. Forward in the direction of Meredith. Meredith gets round the first man, now tries to get round Rasmussen, pokes it in, and the goal has been scored. Fraser Hills claims it. Let's take a look on the GoPro replay. It's across the line at that stage from the defender, so the own goal is credited. Quarter of an hour in, the strikers have a 1-0 lead. Carlos, have a play on there. Now it comes again for Hills. Off the woodwork this time. Put on by Knights. Meredith. Waiting out there is Dias. Hills through the middle of the park. Strikers have a 2-0 lead now. So Fraser Hills congratulating Shelford Dias, providing the assist. Picking up to half time. Hills back there for Angus. On the right is Ma. Searching ball. More cross field there. Knight. Clulo. Riding on the left tonight. His ball into the box. Here's Carlos. Has it away there by Rasmussen. Hills again. Saved by Usai. Dias. Back for Hills. 3-0 to the Strikers. So good lead up play there from the Strikers. We'll get a good look at it from the GoPro replay. Matt Carr parries it away, but straight into the path there of Dias. And Hills has his second. And there by Roper. Straight back to the Strikers though. You saw it. Park come away with the ball. Chested on there. Roper gets involved again. Here come the Hawks and Merrick Medell from close range. Pegs one back here. So within the first 10 minutes of the second half, Merrick Medell breathing some light into this match for his side. They still trail by three goals to one. Come on, play it in towards the penalty spot. Here come the strikers again, and Davis restores the three goal advantage. Alistair Davis come on as a substitute. Edge of the six yard box, unmarked. Matt Carr looking for the offside call, not forthcoming. Just over 10 minutes to play. Tough task here for the Hawks. Medell, that one wide. Davis. Davis. Clulo. Those players formerly from Wolves. Angus. Come away with it. Played back by Garcia. Dias wins the ball that time. Plays it square. And Alistair Davis makes it number five here for the Strikers. And we're just under five minutes remaining. They'll be the ones going through to Sunday night's final. Colin Park looking perhaps here for a late conversa uh, consolation. The change there. The strikers way once more. Now Dias is in some room here. Met by Carr. He's out of his box. Tried a desperate last lunge there. 
Davis one-on-one, -on -one, tucks it between the legs. He has a hat trick. And the Brisbane strikers notch up six. He's got a bit of a knack of scoring hat tricks, Alastair Davis. At least two last year in the Trophy Superstore Premier League as it was back then. So that'll be it. Referee Alex King blows the full-time whistle. Brisbane strikers through two. Sunday night's final. And their opponent will be the winner of this semi-final two between Gold Coast City and Lions FC. Similar story to the last semi-final. Lions three from three. Gold Coast with two wins and a penalty shootout win. Lions with the first attack in our highlight show here. And they'll have a corner. So corner drifted in, touched on. Can the Gold Coast defence deal with it here? Not for the time being. Simic putting that ball over there. And Schiavo takes it first time on the volley. Good ball in by Nathan Shepard. Lions with a 1-0 lead inside the first 10 minutes. Good finish by Schiavo. Vitakangas was angling towards the right side. Got a hand on it, but unable to stop the ball crossing the goal line. Now here's Reese Saunders. And penalty's been blown. So Matthias Simic, deemed to have infringed here, goes into the referee's notebook as well. Let's take a look at that. Well, I'm not so sure. Here's Roman Hoffman. And Roman Hoffman from the spot equalises. One all here just after the half hour mark. And we'll take that penalty shot from the GoPro replay. Zabax guesses the wrong way. Frustration on the face there from the Lions skipper and goalkeeper. Lions have possession here once again through Jankovic. Chiavo. Tobin was continuing through on the run there. Litvin pushing the bat. Referee playing advantage. Gaffney now out wide on the left here for Lewis. Lewis drifts his cross in. Jankovic for Takahashi. Good possession holding here from Lyons. Chested away. And Lyons have the second. It's Marco Jankovic with that goal. Chested down there, straight to Jankovic. And Lions have a 2-1 lead. Shepard. Long range, edge of the box. Saved by Vitakangas. Now the counter. Way through the second half. That's Morgan Saunders. Now Dragosevic. On for Kyle. Zabax gets it at the second attempt. Gaffney. Marcos win possession again. Dylan. Hoffman. On here for Morgan Saunders. Ball into the six yard box. And Gold Coast have found the equaliser through Daniel Dragosevic. So 20 minutes to play. And this match back on level footing. Clear it straight to Gaffney. Down the left for Shepard. Shepard ball into the box and the own goal. Conceded. I think it's Ewan Murphy. And Lions have regained the lead again. With 15 minutes to play. And Murphy just gets that all wrong. Bit of Kangas and Murphy coming out there together. Zabax clears long here. Gaffney will just be content to hold possession at this end of the park. No Shepard still darting forward. Gaffney and Rowe rush it all. Plays it off grimly there. 
And that's full time. Lions are through to Sunday's final. They'll take on the Brisbane Strikers. Lions FC 3-2 over Gold Coast City. Gray, you come up short tonight. What were your thoughts on the game? Oh, look, I, you know, I thought uh, we were in a, you know, a real football game tonight. Um, you know, pre-season sort of gone and out the window and, and the intensity and the mentality, um, particularly from Lions, particularly to start, start the game, really showed us where we need to be. We fought back from that, but, um, you know, you can't give teams cheap and, and easy goals, particularly good teams, uh, and expect to get away with it. So good thing for us is, you know, now we've got a sort of a benchmark as to where we need to be. You did well enough to qualify for the semi-finals. You must be pleased with uh, with how it's all panned out for you. Oh, look, I think so. Uh, I think, you know, the, the difference from the, the games in the, uh, in the group stages tonight were, were massive. Um, so we come up a little bit short from that point of view. I mean, you can even see it at the end, you know, they're yelling and screaming and, and cheering when the final whistle goes. So they, you know, that just shows that they really wanted it, which is, which is fantastic. You know, that's what I sort of want to see uh, my players have that mentality. You can't just switch it on round one. You've got to do it now. Turning to round one, what's your plan between now and then? Oh, look, I think, as I said, you know, t- tonight was a really good benchmark to see where we're at. Some, some, I just said to the boys, some, some things are really pleasing, uh, and then there's obvious things that, that we need to work on. So that's, that's probably the, the most important thing is it's really given us uh, as a coaching staff and, and the players, you know, a, a guide. Now this is what we need to work on. This is we're, we're not as good as what we think we are. We've had some wins, but really at the end of the day, when when we got out here tonight in a tough, physical, competitive game. You know, we, we went missing uh, on occasions and, you know, we conceded really some diabolical goals. So that's really where we need to improve. We'll see you on Sunday for the third and fourth playoff. Yeah. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks. Congratulations, Warren, through the grand final of the, the BLK Silver Boot. What were your thoughts on the game? Oh, it's a good game. I, um, I really rate them as a side. I think they're going to be uh, definitely a challenger or a contender in the the NPL this year because uh, they got quality all over the park. So, uh, yeah, good game, good open game. Both sides trying to go with each other. And, uh, yeah, not bad for a pre-season um, hit out, yeah. What pleased you about your performance tonight? Um, look, our structures that we've been working on in pre-season are really um, there for all to see and it's pleasing for me. And defensively, we're trying to play a game that's uh, proactive and at the opposition and tonight we pressed, you know, I'd say for the bulk of that game and um, which is what I'm expecting of the boys and asking them to do, but to actually do it so early on, uh, yeah, really pleased with the effort they, they put in tonight. You've got the strikers on Sunday. They put in a pretty impressive performance tonight. Yeah, they're a good side. They're a good side. So I mentioned Gold Coast as a contender. Well, strikers are a definitely contender for the uh, the MPL as well. They've got quality all over the park. Uh, we've already played them in pre-season, in a, in a uh, pre-season friendly in early Jan. So we know what they, they're like. They've got quality everywhere. So um, now we expect a good game. And, and the same with them. They'll, they'll come with us. We'll go at them. We're not going to sit back. We're going to go at them. And um, it'll be a good game. Good luck on Sunday. Cheers. Thanks. Thanks.